All right, go ahead, start her up. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be working on the NC Miata. We literally just had to pop start Zach's BMW and Daquan's NC Miata. So we're gonna be plastic dipping the whole front end of the NC. Uh, doing some tile, tire lettering, coloring in. Pretty much just making it look like extra fucking race car. But uh, let's get these cars in the backyard, get them cleaned up so we can uh, start this process. All right, so right now he's taking off. We're gonna be unbolting the whole fender, undoing the hood, undoing the fenders over here, couple bolts, and then the whole front end pulls off together. And we're just gonna blast it up at all with black. With this right here. All right, you ready? Oh yeah, race cars, fuck. Now we gotta undo the hood though. That'll be easy. Look at this fucking tire. Jesus Christ. All right, so we got all that undone. Now we're just gonna undo the hood. We're gonna be taking it over to the hose next to my house, spraying it all down, getting it all cleaned up with some microfiber towels. And we're gonna start the process of painting it and doing very light layers with plastic dip. So the layers are very smooth. You don't want like a rough surface, like a truck bed or something. So after that, uh, I'll show you what we got finished. All right, you got this item. All right guys, so me and Daquan are gonna clean up the fenders and the hood real quick. We're gonna give it a quick spray down and then we're gonna clean it down with a microfiber towel, get it all clean, get it all prepped, uh, put some alcohol on it. So it's a really nice clean surface and we're gonna start painting it and blast it up in it. And with the color we're using, it's obviously black. Hopefully it matches the same color as the front bumper so we don't have to paint that. I mean, obviously it's already so smooth. So right now he's propping up some cones for the hood and then uh, we'll start spraying it down after we get it clean. All right, so we got our first coats down. As you can see, they're really thin. This actually looks kind of thick, but it's not. Well, if you look at it through the light, you can see super thin, keeping it thin so it comes out smooth. This one over here, it looks thicker, but it's not. It's just because the light over here sucks. So we're gonna, how many coats do you think we're gonna do? Like, probably like fucking 10. So yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, I didn't do the inside. Yeah, so we're going to put down like 8 to 12 coats, make sure it's super thick so if we ever go to peel this off, it'll come off really easily. And uh, yeah, it's going to look great. Can't wait to see it on the car. Alright guys, so we just finished up. We got the hood on there. Uh, it's looking okay. There's some like streaks in it and stuff. We think it's just because it's not dry yet, but we don't really know. We gave Daquan's sister the plastic F can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We didn't do that. We didn't do that, but anyways, we finished up the fenders. We're gonna get them put back on the car and see what it looks like down here. Uh, the plastic tip turned out really good. It's a pretty good match to the flat black bumper, so we're gonna pull it. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna bolt it all back up to the NC Miata and see what it looks like. And uh, let me flip the camera around right now to show you the hood. So that's what it's looking like. You can see the little stripes right here. Uh, we think they're gonna go away, but it's still kind of wet. But we'll find out. These fucking tires are so massive. All right, guys, so we got it back on there. He's tightening up some of the bolts. Obviously, we don't have them all in, just a couple. 
But uh, this is what it's looking like. It's better than having the red fender and stuff. It's the worst plastic tip job I've ever seen. Yeah, it's not the best plastic tip job. It's the worst. I don't have much experience with plastic. All right, take one. All right, tiger stripes. It looks better than what it did, though. Being black. And I'm telling you, after a couple of car washes, I feel like it takes off the texture. I don't know. If any of you guys in the comments know how this plastic shit works, tell us why it's so rough like this. Because we did it right. We prepped it and everything. So, leave us some comments and tell us why. But that looks a lot better than with the red fender and shit. We still have to do some touch-ups, like right there and down there. And then the hood is drying and some of the stripes are going away, so well, that'll be fine. Jesus Christ. It looks a lot better though. Fuck the red. All right, go ahead, start her up. Burning up in there, Daquan. <laughs> My zip ties. Oh, Went around the block. Got some falling. fucking zip ties burning up in there. Not the zip. Oh, you shit. didn't get one out. Of <laughs> Damn it! They're everywhere. <laughs> now you're bending the fucking hood again. My zip ties. Look they're like look like ramen noodles down there. <laughs> we got one. We got four hundred. Dude, they are fucking stuck everywhere. Just push them down on the ground. Jesus Christ. They're stuck <laughs> on my fucking header. God damn it. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of today's video. We got some of the zip ties out of there. Uh, just letting you know, the Miata's back. She's getting tagged tomorrow. So we're going to have lots of drift videos coming up and just taking corners and back roads and stuff. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, we know the plastic dip didn't turn out too good. So like I said, if any of you guys have experienced with plastic, like we prepped it, we did thin coats, we, we did everything we were supposed to. And it just, it's like, almost feels thick, like velvety. I don't know if after we wash it a couple times, if it's gonna come off. Anyways, just leave us some comments of maybe what something we did wrong or something you have that we can use it to fix it or make it smooth. I don't really know. Is, uh, I want you guys- Oh shit! <laughs> Oh my god, the hood almost took his fucking head off. I was gonna tell you guys that our Instagrams were gonna be in the descriptions, but it looks like Quan was Instagram my feet day. His fucking head. Anyway, so guys, uh, all follow us all on Instagram so you can guys keep up on all our builds. Melina's gonna be on there, Quan's gonna be on there, and mine's gonna be on there, and I'll put Zach's Instagram too. So you can follow all of our accounts so you guys can stay updated because Instagram is way more updated than YouTube. So go ahead and do that, and don't forget to like this video.